I've seen various articles around the web, some interesting articles recently about Obama and race and, and, and the Chinese view of Obama and racism. Um, when, when he was first elected, I remember I mentioned this in the last show, uh, a short message that went around, a text message that went around the telephones that said, uh, you know, the Americans uh, electing a black president just shows that they've understood the wisdom of Deng Xiaoping, who said, black cat, white cat, as long as it catches a mouse, it's a good cat. <laughs> Which is a joke, right? But I mean, they were very focused on and amazed that America had elected a black president. Mm -hmm. But since, I've, since then, I've seen many articles uh, analyzing a, an undertone of racism, you know, among the Chinese people toward, you know, Obama because of his Afro-American heritage. What do you, th do you think there's any merit to that, any truth to that? What do you think about that, from what do you know about Chinese people? You're Chinese, you're both mm -hmm. Chinese heritage, mm -hmm. and you both know, mm -hmm. what do you th is there any truth to that, or is that exaggerated, or what? No, no, I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's I, 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 would, I would almost dismiss it as a kind of, uh, just, just, just kind of a, a casual talk out there on the street. I mean, because in, in the academic community, we do value that. We actually really put uh, lots of value on uh, his successfully uh, being elected into the White House. Because, I mean, for example, I taught a course on the 1960s in the United States. Mm -hmm. And I know that, uh, I mean, the, the African Americans actually had a really hard time back in the 1950s and 60s. And eventually they got their rights, like uh, the, the Voting Rights of 1965 and also the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And Obama actually openly recognized his, his, roots, his roots, his source of inspiration in that very civil rights movement. Yeah. And we applauded him yeah. in a sense. Once again, in China, there's always, there's always a general mentality that you actually would uh, give your sympathy to the weak. And this is the race that is supposed to be... The weak, the weak race yeah. I mean, in in the states, and now they rose to power, they rose to prominence, yeah. and yeah. so it, it's very admirable. Yeah, just ask, any any comments, Stephen? Well, I think the Chinese view on race is quite sort of complicated because China is a big nation, but ninety percent of the population is Han Chinese, despite right. you have these fifty-five other ethnic minorities. So. <laughs> I haven't personally. I haven't seen much of these, uh, you know, race talks on Obama. But I think uh, I think there's a famous recent example about another half black person uh, that sort of like made a lot of media rounds. I don't know if you heard about that girl in Shanghai who mm. uh, entered a reality show, a singing contest. Basically, she's half black, and her 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 father is basically a, a, I think an African American, mm -hmm. and her mother's local Shanghainese, but her father uh, left when she was just born, so raised by a single mother. When she went to that reality show, uh, you know, just it's to see a Chinese a, a yeah, reality show, yeah, variety show. exactly. And but she <clears throat> somehow was under attack online for being half black. So there's a lot of nasty comments about her racial background, and she had to, you know, come out to defend her uh, self by saying, "Look, you know." Just because my father is black and he uh, he left us when I was born, that's not my fault, not my mom's fault, and not my mom's fault, and all that kind of thing. So it was. Uh a very big story in Chinese media, sort of just reminding me of the, the Chinese view on race is still quite immature, could be, because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of Chinese are still not very used to dealing with the racial diversity because you live in a country where most of the uh, people you deal with look just like you. Yeah, so yeah. I think, so it takes some time for them probably to, to develop sort of a, a, a more mature uh, view uh, on race, but I, I do think it's, 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 it's a bit complex in terms yes. of how this whole, yeah. sometimes we say the superiority slash inferiority right. complex in terms of like mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. they view other races.